right, so let's uh, rationalize this denominator. So notice this is a bit different because our denominator has two terms in it, 2 minus square root of 3. All right, so in order to get rid of the denominator, in this case, you need to multiply by two terms, but with the opposite sign. So you multiply by the conjugate. So you have 2 minus square root of 3, you need to do 2 plus square root of 3. And same on the top. So the reason for that is because when you multiply these same numbers but opposite signs, you get difference of squares, which means the radicals will cancel. Right? So we're going to put everything in parentheses so we can multiply. So on top we get 5 times 2 plus square root of 3. On the bottom we FOIL, we get 4 plus 4 square root of 3. Oh, plus 2 square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 3 then minus square root of 9 these cross out we get 5 times 2 plus square root of 3 over 4 minus 3 and you can distribute the 5 if you want we get 10 plus 5 square root of 3 over 1 which is 10 plus 5 square root of 3. All right, so there it is, rationalizing the denominator. So there is no more, no more radicals in the, in the bottom of the fraction.